Two years into the pandemic, and many healthcare workers are burned out. On top of that, nurses and doctors are also reporting anger and aggression from patients and their family members. Kelloland's Renee Ortiz talks with Avera and Sanford about what their healthcare workers are dealing with. Since the pandemic has started, we have seen violence against healthcare workers, whether it's in clinics or in the hospital as well. That anger has grown as the pandemic continues to impact our lives. Whether it's physical or verbal, uh, we certainly have seen an uptick in that. Nurses have been brought to tears on the phone by the um, words and the comments that are being thrown at them from the other end. We're also really stressing to our staff that no one should tolerate this. COVID has brought feelings of stress, anger and frustration. For two years of the pandemic, we are all tired. The caregivers, I would say, are tired and tested. But you know what? They come to work every day. They show up every day. They're one of the health care workers, one of the essential workers that has, has to come into this pandemic every day. Declining mental health is a growing issue due to things like food and job insecurity, child care, health problems, abuse, and grief. As we know across the nation with pandemic, we've seen increased uh, mental health issues, anxiety, depression, physical or verbal abuse, substance use. Healthcare workers are supporting each other in times of tension and exhaustion and ask the same from the public. We realize that this is incredibly stressful, it's incredibly scary, and we want to work with you. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelland News. The American Medical Association is calling for a nationwide end to the violence against healthcare workers.